Hello, everybody, and welcome to Bellatro, a fantastic card-based roguelike game that I have just gotten no endless amount of joy out of. I probably have way too many hours into the demo, and I'm super excited to just be playing this and, like, recording something. So let's jump right into Bellatro here, and I'll kind of explain what's going on here. Oh. I suppose my progress has kind of been reset here since I, uh, since all of my progress is made in the demo. Yeah, let's just get started here. And I'll kind of explain what's going on here. So the first thing we're going to do is select a, select a level here. Or select our, uh, select our blind. Or we can skip our blind and it gives us a benefit. So on this first, on your first run, I don't recommend skipping the blind here. So we'll just kind of... We'll just kind of get this started here. Now, the goal is to basically make poker hands with your cards. You know, do high cards, pair, two pair, three of a kind, straight, flushes, full house, four of a kind. It plays exactly like you would expect poker to play. But there's going to be a few twists on it that I'll kind of explain as we get into it. So I don't really see anything here that's like the makings of a super good hand. But I'm basically going to try and go for a, uh, for a flush. And I was punished for it, so... Uh, nine, eight. I still got three more discards that I can do here. I'm going to, I'm going to embrace the suck. Oh, there we go. So I'm going to do a flush here and we're going to hit play. And this should get me a pretty good score with my end goal trying to get at least 300. And I think I could do that with this pair of queens here. Now, another strategy that you can employ in this game is playing additional cards along with your... Oh, I'm sorry. King, pair of kings. You can play additional cards along with your pair to just get them out of your hand like you would a free discard almost. So I got three gold, two remaining hands. Super awesome. Ooh, card. This is new. Plus 50 multiplier when blank... When zero discards remaining. Oh, so if I have no discards, I get a plus 15 multiplier. That's kind of dangerous to employ right now. Um, so this joker, which apparently I haven't discovered yet, basically gives you like a random multiplier at the, on your score at the end here. Oh. Interesting. Antis. So anti is basically how hard the game's going to be. There's a lot of interesting things. So this is like a permanent buff. Your jokers are basically uh, like relics and slay the spire. They'll affect your hands. I'm going to do a buffoon pack here and see if I can't get like a halfway decent joker. So let's see here. I get a plus 12 multiplier if my play contains a straight or I can get this. If I sell this joker, I get a free double tag and I'll kind of explain what a double tag is here. So this is a, so this is a tag. So if I sell this, I get my next shop will have two uncommon jokers instead of just one, but I really don't have any super good plays right now. If I skip this, I'm going to go right into basically the boss blind. And I don't want to do that. I want to, I want another shot. And I was thinking about making a tutorial for this since, again, I have far too many hours in this game. And right away, we're starting off with a really good uh, two pair. And I'm going to play the five just to get it out of my hand, I think. Awesome. 92 points. Ooh, here we go. Another good two pair. Or... I'm going to risk it here a little bit and see if I can't get a good flush. No, nope, no such luck. Four, five, six, seven, eight, though, which is a straight. Really awesome. 240. And I get got two more hands that I can play here. Uh. Oh, wait. Here's a flush. Oh, that's super good. Awesome. I got at least 450, get some money. Now you'll see that I did purposefully leave uh, five gold, five currency, because you get interest up to like 20. So if I have 20, I get five per, I'm sorry, 25. For every five money, I get an interest off of it. Oh. Earn two per discard. That's pretty good. Uh... You know what? Plus 50 chips if a hand is played has a pair. That's going to be pretty good. So all of my club cards are going to be disbuff, debuffed in this special boss blind, and I might as well just discard them. 
So I'm going to explain basically chips. So right now, if I play these two spades, I get a pair. So 10 chips times two, plus whatever the value of these chips are. And then this joker comes in after the fact and gives me plus 50, plus 50 chips on top. If my hand contains a pair in some way or another. I'm going to discard all of these. I would like to get a one, two, three, four. Oh, hey, look, a flush. A flush is even better than two pairs. So two pair kind of ranks down here 20 times two is a base value, whereas a flush ranks at 34 times four. So a flush is always worthwhile getting, and they're pretty easy to get. 296, that's a pretty good, that's pretty good. Oh, wait, hey, a straight. Oh, wait, jack, 10, 8, that, uh, straight, 30 times four. Not quite as good as a flush, but hey, that's still pretty solid. So as long, so let's uh, let's do a uh, two pair here, and I'll kind of show you that. You'll see that uh, Joker kind of kick in. Yep, see, plus 50. So that was good for 200 points. Now the big thing we really want to get is Jokers that do multipliers or re-trigger our cards again after the fact. An additional discard, that's not bad. I think we can have up to five Jokers. Permanently gain plus one discard, that's not bad. I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna get a new playing card. Oh, unfortunately these are all just kind of lock stock standard. I like six, six of hearts. Oh, hey, this is gonna be kind of cool. So I'm gonna sell this and gain a double tag. So basically it gives me a copy of my next selected tag. And I'm gonna skip this blind. And what it's gonna give me is two planet, two planet cards. Now what planet cards do is they level up the value of your of basically your poker hands. So like the one that I'm gonna do first off, since I think I can pick two, is I'm gonna level up my two pair. So my two pair is level two now, and I now gain uh, 40 times three. And then I'm gonna level up my flush. Another thing that you can see here is how many times I've gotten each one of these. So I've gotten one pair, two, two straights, three flushes throughout the game, and flushes are really good to get. So my flushes are now just inherently worth more. And since it's a double tag, and since I had the double tag, I get that, I get the bon the benefit of skipping that flush or that, uh, that blind twice. So I'm going to again take a pair and take the flush level up. <clears throat> Ooh, I could get two jokers if I skip. Yeah, that's worth it. Oh, there's some, this is a new joker. Uh, face cards give plus four multiplier once scored. So your multiplier, I'll kind of show you that. Every played card permanently gains four chips once scored. That's super good early on. So let's talk about, so you have your amount of chips here and then there's how many they're multiplied by. So anything that does multiply is really good. So I'm gonna play this. And that's 592. All my spade cards are debuffed. That's fine. Two, four. Let's discard here and see if I can't get another. There we go. And since this contains a pair, this is going to be worth a lot of points. Yeah. Oh, I got a new deck unlocked. I think I know what deck that is from my uh, time, in, my extensive time in the demo. Ooh. So one times one multiplier. So I can even take my multiplier here and mul multiply the multiplier itself. It it gets kind of crazy. Oh, hey, this is really good. So my most played hand, I'll, it'll contain a planet card for that if I redeem a planet card. Yeah, I'm going to take that. Take that all day. That's really good. And... You know what? Plus 40 chips for each remaining discard. Why not? I can always sell jokers after the fact. Three, four, five, six. Not a great opening hand. Discard that. Maybe go unpunished a little bit. Hey. Three of a kind. Yeah. That's not bad. 
plus four multiplier for two, three, four, two, three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, and six. Straight. Nice. Not great, but still nice. So this will be plus four multiplier for face cards, so this should be worth quite a bit of money. Ooh, yeah. So you can really see how your jokers can just go absolutely out of control. And there's some really cool cards. Ooh, this one's really good. I really like this joker a lot. So even cards gain a plus four multiplier. And let's get a tarot. Oh, don't have enough money for a tarot card. Anything I want to sell? No. So tarot cards are basically your consumables in-game. And then spectral cards affect your cards in... It's like an additional add-on that you can put on your cards. I don't want to use that right now. Uh, 10, 9, 8, 5. Uh, let's just do a two pair. Take the king and kind of see where that gets us. Oh, that's right. My multiplier for uh, even cards. Yeah, 3,600 points just casually. Oh, hey, look at that. I'm starting to see like some four extra chips kind of breaking into my... Uh, Breaking into my cards now from this uh, hiker card. Oh yeah, that's that's just it's just wonderful. Good interest there. Yeah, this is this is looking to be a pretty decent run. All right, let's grab a tarot card here. Ooh, generate two random planet cards. Or I could do a wild card and any one of these, and I could basically turn these into like a neutral suit, a wild suit. I'm gonna grab the two planet cards. Yes, please. Level up my two pairs even more. And yeah, I'll use the three of a kind, you never know. Looking back here at my run info, I can see that still my two pair, my two pair is just dominating my flush, as you would expect since it's harder to get. I'm using it a little less, but it's still really good. One in seven cards get drawn face down. Oh, how about that? Um, so this is either a queen. I'm going to play everything here. Ah, it was an ace. I was hoping for a queen, but... Still 2,000 points with just a pair. That's not bad. Let's play that and see what we get. Ah, darn. Still, again, if I'm getting 2,000 points per pull... Oh, hey, this would make this a full house. As, you know, with, since I'm going in order of uh, value, you know, this could only be a three, but I think our two pair is still going to be worth way more points than what a full house would give us. Which is the other interesting thing about this game is that even though a full house, uh, poker-wise, may be worth more points because it's higher tier base, because I've upgraded my two pairs so much, it's now worth way more points than a full house. Things to consider in the when you're playing through the game. Oh. Gives per enhanced card played. Oh, removes the card enhancement? Gross. Rerolls cost two less. I don't use rerolls. Let's grab some more tarot cards. Oh, I could just double my money. Yes, please. Uh, increase the rank. Convert three cards into spades. I'd rather just make like an ace uh, a wild card. There, now it's a wild card. It can be played as any any suit. See a really good two pair there. Four thousand points. It's just ridiculous for two pair. Um. Uh, let's see. Let's get rid of the nine and the seven. Just see what we get. Nice pair.
And you can really see how if you really lean into like a simple a simple hand, a simple hand to achieve, two pair, like it can still pay off just as much as getting like flushes and straights. Plus 15 multiplier when zero discards remain. No, thank you. Ooh, this is kind of cool. All your flushes and straights can be made with four cards. This is a very versatile card, but I, I really don't need it. Ooh, let's add another planet card. And just keep leaning into this two pair. Uh, I could create two uncommon jokers, but I'm pretty well good on... I'm pretty well good on my jokers here. This is solid. Not great, but solid. There's a few other cards that I would much rather have, but we make do. Yeah. Oh, hey, look at that. Another one. Look at that. And then flushes are, flushes are what we get. Like, I just love this game so much. Again, like, I've, I, played the, I played the hell out of the demo, and I was so excited for the game to get released today so I can make a video on it. I just think it's neat. Three of a kind. Plus ten multiplier if you get a flush. I'm really... I've really leaned into what I have going on here, so I'm just going to kind of let it ride. You know what? I'm going to buy an arcane back here. Get another tarot card. Ooh, a one in four chance to add a foil, which... A uh, holographic or polychrome addition to a random joker. So a foil gives just plus 50... The joker will give you plus 50 gif chips. The holographic will give you a plus 50 multiplier. Polychrome's the good one. So after the fact, after... So whenever your joker scores... It'll take your multiplier here and multiply it by 1.5. So the trick with that is your joker score from left to right. So you definitely... So if it's like... So if your jokers have after effects, they score from left to right. Most of these are pretty active when you score. You know. Let's use it. Nope, didn't get it. I never get the one in four. This card's two random hands. That's going to be tough. Two random cards per hand played. Not a good opening start here. I'm going to discard these. Nine, eight, seven, fives. I'm going to play all of this just to get it out of my hand. Not a really good look for me. Oh, there we go. Two pair. And take the seven with you. Oh, yeah. This is going to be good. Uh, let's see here. That looks good. <laughs> All right. So I got one more hand left and... Yeah, I could have done the full house, but this is just worth way more points to do the two pair. Oh, yeah. That's good. Very good. I'd like some stuff that would give me more multiplier. Turn four at the end of the room. Add the number of times the poker plan has been played to the multiplier. 12. So if I play a 2, that would be plus 12, so that'd be way better than, say, a hiker. I think I'm going to sell him so I can get this. So now, as I read that, the number of times that I played a hand, so for example, if I play two pair, it's been played 12 times, so this would give a plus 12 multiplier. That's just insane. Let's add some more playing cards in my hand, into my deck. Oh yeah. A wild 3. Ooh, two tarot cards. I'm tempted. Yeah, do it. Oh, create two random tarot cards. So these I could hold until I'm ready for it, and I could hold these as consumables, and I think for this I will, and then I want to use this to... Darn it. Maybe I've gotten a... 
boosted Joker, but it's fine. So I'm gonna make, I'm gonna give these two tens a plus, what is it, a plus four multiplier when they're played? Oh yeah. Plus 13 multiplier, that's, that's just silly. Oh, score 10,000 chips in a single hand. That was, that was really easy. And I got a new Joker for that. Again, super easy. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, oh, what the hell? I'll play the straight. That was good. Getting a good amount of money. I love it. When a blind is selected, create two random jokers. I don't really have the mood, the the mood for that. I don't really have the room for that. Level up my two pairs some more. Plus six multiplier. Ah hell, let's see if I let's get two pair again. One hundred and forty times eight. That's just stupid. How how high that is. And take the 10, since it's not going to score any. Um, hmm. Discard all that, please. There we go. That should be worth quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah, we're beating this game with just two pair. Beautiful. Times three multiplier if this hand has already been played this round. And a one in four chance to upgrade the level of... Oh, that's not bad. I'm going to do this. So it's going to take my multiplier and multiply it by times three. And let's do this. So ante is basically like how hard the game becomes. So if I decrease my ante, my, uh, the blinds become a little easier. Oh, hey, here, here's some cool stuff. So this chi So with this gold seal, I earn three gold when this card plays and scores. Hell yeah. And then this one with the... Uh, red seal, I gain a plus four multiplier, plus it's a multi-card, so it's going to re-trigger. It's going to trigger one more time. Yeah, those are really good. Uh, gives one dollar per hand. No, I don't really need this. Let's play this blind out. Not a great opener for me here. A much better opener for me here. Oh, I beat the hand and I beat it in one play. I didn't even get a chance for my uh, card sharp to... That's fun. Yeah. Get a Celestial Pack going again. Two pair, please. <laughs> Level eight. That's just silly. And... Ah, hell, take a pair with you. Why not? Let's see here, two, three, four, five, six. Could be fun. Let's discard those and kind of see where that gets us. That's more like it. So I'm going to take the sixes and the twos because I get more for when even cards are played. And you can see that re-trigger there. And then a two pair, and you'll see this times three multiplier uh, kick in here. So it took my multiplier and like multiplied it by three. So it just made an absolute stupid amount of of uh, st stupid amount of money for me. A stupid high score for me. When a blind is selected, destroy the Joker to the right and permanently add double its sell flower value to this multiplier. Holy shit, that's really good. 
That ain't bad. All face cards are debuffed. Well, it's a good thing I don't rely on face cards. I'm gonna sell that card here. Discard all of that, I think? Awesome, that's exactly what I want to be seeing here. Do aces count as an even? No, they don't. So, let's enhance these couple of sixes, and boom. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. And then we'll take the aces here. Oh, I would love it if I could score with that six. A little extra money? No, I'm not going to risk it any more than that. Play it. Ah. We could definitely beat whatever the final boss is in this. The Celestial Bell, I think, is what it was called. Face cards give times two multi one scored. Nah. Just keep leveling up the two pair. Uh, yeah, skip it. Two pair. I think that's the. Uh, yeah, that's definitely the highest I've ever gotten in a in a run. Eh, level up straight, what the hell. Oh. Plus three hand size next round. Uh, nah. And... Very good. Hmm. Discard all that, maybe? Uh, not happy that I have to play this, but... Yeah, let's play the flush. There we go. Two pairs. played card counts in scoring. Oh, that's really good. So if, so if like when I discard an extra card with my two pair, that card would count. That's pretty good. Uh, give me a, give me some cards with some added effects. Just plus 30 chips. That's pretty good. Base chips and multis are all halved. Crap. This might be a lot harder to win doing this. We'll see. Oh, so it's just the base score of them. Okay, all right. That's not bad then. We'll still pretty well crush it. Piece of cake. my voucher. Uh, oh, uncommon jokers give a 1.5 multiplier. That's really good, but I only have one uncommon joker and I really like what I have here. I really thought I'd be at the end of this run by now, but I'm not. So I don't know how long, how far this goes. Like, where does it stop? Completely unpunished. Was that 50,000 that I saw? That's probably one of the higher scores I've ever gotten in this game. Uh, yeah, let's just keep leveling up our two pair. With my luck, the there'll be something where I can't play two of the same kind of hand in a row, and I'm just going to get completely screwed. Oh, 
This is actually really good. Yeah! Uh, yep, take you. Ooh, the stone card. So it has no rank or suit, and it just adds 50 chips. It's a pretty good card. All cards previously played this ante are debuffed. Oh, okay. Oh, I get it. Yeah, that makes sense. Four, five, six, seven, eight. That's not a good look for me. Uh, this is way better. Yeah, play this. And then hold on to that other pair. Oh. Pair of queens. Ooh, makes me a little nervous. Getting a lot of achievements here. Formerly gained plus one discard per run? Yeah, I'll take that. An extra discard, when I can only play three hands, that's pretty good. Just embrace two pair. That's all we're doing, embrace two pair. I'll take a stone card, could be fun. Ooh, the Cerulean Bell. Forces one card to always be selected. Yeah, that one's really good. Look at that. Upgrade two pair by three levels. Yeah, I made the right call. So I'll show you how the stone card works. It's really, in it's really cool. So we get our normal cards triggering. And then after the fact, the stone card is just a plus 50 multiplier. Or, I'm sorry, a plus 50 to our chip count. I wonder how many times I've played... Whoa. That was a big number. How many times have I played two pairs this game? 30. Oh! Create a legendary joker? Sure, let's see what we get. Creates a negative copy of one random consumable card. What? I don't get it. Creates a negative copy of one random consumable card in your possession at the end of the shop. I don't get that. I don't understand how that works. I'm not sure it was worth it. Uh, skip the blind? Oh, that's just gonna be silly. So one card is forced to be selected. So what I think I'm going to do... is... discard a bunch of stuff here. Let's kind of start from scratch. A two pair! Uh, ace, and then look at the kings. Oh, baby. Did I win? Oh, hey, I won. <laughs> Too bad these chips are all virtual. Yeah. And I could keep going in endless mode, but I'm not going to. You win a run without re-rolling the shop. Unlocking all kinds of cool stuff. Doubles all listed probabilities. Oh, one and three becomes two. Dude, that's really good. New deck unlocked. Uh, three multiplier. This card isn't very good. I don't like it very much. Uh, yep, still don't get how that works. Win a run without playing four of a kind. 
Oh. Oh, just win a run. Oh, that's not bad. New deck unlocked. Yeah, and that's Bellatro. Uh, thank you all very much for watching the video, and uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna do a... Uh... Oh. Interesting. Yeah, and I'm probably gonna do a lot more of this run. So, until next time, be seeing ya.